How to care for a box turtle. Box turtles are small land turtles that can close up their shell completely. They should only be cared for by adults or very responsible kids. Because they are reptiles, they're not going to enjoy cuddling like puppies or kittens do. But if you want to take home this little creature, then you need to know how to care for it as well as you can. Part 1. Getting a box turtle. Get your turtle from your local turtle rescue group or reptile society. There are plenty of unwanted, unwanted reptiles who need a good home. Don't go to pet stores, especially since some get turtles by stealing them from their habitats. Find a good reptile vet. Most vets don't know much about reptiles because most of their training is on mammals like dogs and cats. Go to a vet with a lot of knowledge about reptiles. Visit your vet once a year when it is healthy or when you think it is sick. Decide whether you want to take care for your turtle indoors or outdoors. If you care for your turtle indoors, you can keep it in a large glass aquarium, which may be easier to clean. If you care for it outdoors, you may need to make or buy a large wooden cage. Indoor care is easier because you won't have to go outdoors or worry about things like temperature or other animals that may bother your turtle. However, turtles are used to being in the wild and may be a little happier outdoors. Part 2. Making a Turtle Home Create an outdoor enclosure for your turtle. Make the turtle enclosure a minimum of 4 feet by 6 feet for one box turtle. Use more space for more turtles. Use smooth sided wooden planks about 12 inches wide. At the top of each corner, attach a triangular piece of wood that connects to each side. This will make stronger walls and provide a piece so a turtle can't climb over. They always try to climb out at the corners. Consider an indoor enclosure for your turtle. If you want to go the glass aquarium route, you should get one that is at least 40 gallons. You can also make a cage of plywood or concrete as well. The wall should be at least two feet high so the turtle does not crawl out or else you will need a lid. If you do have a lid, make sure there is air so the turtle can breathe. Line the bottom of the cage with bedding such as sand and soil or wood chips mixed with peat moss. If the bedding is drier, then your poor turtle's skin can crack. Have a light with a reflector at one end of the, of the cage. Turtles need light to keep warm. If your room is normally 75 to 80 degrees, then you may not need the bulb. Put the cage near a, win put the cage near a window so the turtle gets some sunlight for at least two to six hours a day, while always having the option of getting out of it. Have the right bedding. For outdoor turtles, you can use a mixture of soil and leaves, making sure that your turtle has a place to dig into and to hide in. For outdoor turtles, you can use plain rabbit pellets and mix the bedding each day. You can also use wood chips or reptile bedding if you don't want to make your own. Make sure to spray a little water into the enclosure daily to keep your turtle moist. Clean the cage often. Whether you are caring for your box turtle indoors or outdoors, it's important to keep its environment clean. Clean its bedding at least once a week, its water bowl every day, and the entire cage once a month. Using dish soap mixed with a few drops of bleach and remove the turtle before cleaning. Make sure the soap is completely gone before you put the turtle back. Give your turtle plenty of water. 
Make sure to have a little pool of water for your turtle to play in. Clean the water each day. If the turtle is indoors, then you should place it in the water every day to keep it from feeling too dry. Make sure to keep the water warm. The water area should have an easy exit. Put the water in a dish, pan, glass, or bowl, making sure it is at least two inches deep to fully enter, but not so deep that it struggles to swim. Part 3 Caring for your turtle. Feed your turtle regularly. Adult turtles need to eat at least three or more times a week, while young turtles must eat regularly. Turtles should be fed in the morning, and they need to eat a mixture of fruits, vegetables, and protein. All fruits should be washed or chopped. Here are some foods that turtles love to eat. Proteins, snails, slugs, grasshoppers, earthworms, crickets, canned dog food. Fruits, tomatoes, grapes, mangoes, melons, pears, strawberries, plums, nectarines, raspberries, apples. Vegetables, cabbage, spinach, red leaf lettuce, sweet potatoes, carrots, mushrooms, dandelions, squash. Give your turtle enough sunlight and heat. Your turtle needs sunlight to get vitamins and stay healthy. It's recommended that your turtle gets light for at least 12 to 14 hours a day. The indoor enclosure should not get colder than 60 degrees Fahrenheit and should be around 70 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. Turn off any lights at night. Know if your turtle is sick. If your turtle is sick, then you need to take him to the vet. Here are some things to look out for. Changes in feeding or behavior for two weeks. Gray or whitish areas on the turtle's shell or skin. A softening of the shell. A dry or flaky shell. Dry, flaky skin. Skin with a red coloring. Discharge from the nose or mouth. Swellings or lumps, especially over the ear. Turtles don't like a lot of handling. Turtles can bite if they are unhappy, and those bites can really hurt. If you're quiet and careful around your turtle, he will trust and love you. Turtles will usually be most active in the morning and around sunset. If you have an indoor turtle, take it outdoors on nice days, but make sure you put it in an outdoor enclosure and keep an eye on it because they run fast. Wash your hands before and after handling your turtle or your turtle's dishes. Keep yourself and your turtle happy and germ-free.